Here are some challenging questions that often present difficulties for non-Calvinist perspectives, particularly around doctrines like predestination, God's sovereignty, and human responsibility. One, if God is sovereign, how can we believe he doesn't control all things? Challenge. Calvinism emphasizes God's complete sovereignty over everything, including salvation, events, and individual choices. Ephesians 1.11 Non-Calvinist perspectives often argue for human free will, but if God is not sovereign over every detail, then he would lack control over certain outcomes. Difficult question. How can God guarantee his purposes if he doesn't control every decision or circumstance? If human choice supersedes God's will in any situation, how does he remain sovereign? 2. How can we have assurance of salvation if it can be lost? Challenge. Many non-Calvinists believe that salvation can be lost if one falls away or fails to persevere in faith. Calvinism, on the other hand, holds that God's elect will persevere because he preserves them based on Jesus' promise that no one will snatch them out of my hand. John 10 and 28, 29. Difficult question. If salvation depends on our ability to remain faithful, how can we be assured of it? Does this view shift some of the weight of salvation onto human effort rather than God's sustaining grace? 3. If God knows all things, how can he be surprised by human choices? Challenge. Nalvinus beliefs sometimes suggest that God responds to human choices as they happen, implying that he might adapt or adjust his plans based on free human decisions. Calvinism teaches that God ordains all things and knows the end from the beginning, Isaiah 46, verse 9 to 10, so nothing surprises him. Difficult question. If God knows all things, how can he allow anything outside his will to unfold? Wouldn't a lack of foreknowledge or control over human choices imply limitations to his knowledge or power? 4. Why would God's election be based on foreseen faith rather than his sovereign choice? Challenge. Some non-Calvinists believe God elects based on foreseeing who will choose him, thus respecting human free will. Calvinism argues that this concept shifts the source of salvation from God to man and doesn't align with biblical teachings of grace. Difficult question. How can election be truly gracious if it depends on human action? Ephesians 2, 8-9 teaches that salvation is a gift of God, not a result of works. So how does foreseen faith not become a work by which one is chosen. Why would a loving God allow some to be lost if he desires to save all? Challenge. Non-Calvinists often hold that God desires to save all people, so he offers salvation to everyone equally and hopes they will accept it. Calvinism, however, sees God's specific election as both loving and just, arguing that God has a sovereign purpose even for those who are not saved. Romans 9, 14-24. Difficult question. If God could save everyone but doesn't, does that mean his desires or purposes are thwarted? How does one reconcile God's loving nature with his willingness to allow some to perish, especially if he has the power to save? These questions touch on deeper theological aspects of salvation, free will, and divine sovereignty, highlighting how Calvinist perspectives frame these doctrines around God's sovereign grace and purpose. For non-Calvinists, Answering them without compromising either God's power or human freedom presents significant theological challenges.